everyone. Welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the week. I missed you last week. I was a little under the weather. Still am, but the show must go on. And we're going to be talking about and breaking down um, odd meters, how to deal with odd meters. The thing is, if you're not dealing with odd meters, then you're the odd man out. You get it? It's true because a lot of the music today, coming out today, um, most of it is odd meter uh, mixed meter, at least a little bit, um, if not a lot of it. And if you're not comfortable with it, and if you haven't really worked on it and shedded it, uh, you're going to be pre- fairly uncomfortable and you're not going to be able to really open up um, and create and make music in those situations. Okay, so I want to give you a few different Q tips, if you will, uh, of handling ways of handling odd meters and working on them so that you sound killer. Killer Diller. Killer Diller? I don't know what that is. Anyway, if you're ready, then I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Are you really, really ready? I'm giving you a double dosage of me because I missed last week. So voice is messed up. It doesn't even matter because I'm going in. Odd meters, here we come. If you're ready, then I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, then let's go. <laughs> oh, no, no, guys. time. All right, the first thing you got to do is, first of all, get comfortable counting up to whatever the meter is. So five, one, two, three, four, 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 five. Now, obviously, there's different ways to divide it, and you got to get comfortable dividing it in different ways. So um, let's go three, two, okay? Basic math. Three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, and I'm I'm dividing the three into dotted quarter notes, right? It's kind of like take five, but it's straight. We'll get to the the feel later. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. All right? Now, what if we wanted to? What if we wanted to divide it up? Uh, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, two. One two one, one two one two three. One two one two three. One two one two three. One. What? One two one two three. So those are the most common ways of dividing. This is five, by the way. What if we get went? One one two one two. One one two one two. One one two one two. One. Uh, uh. Right? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. One, one, two, two, two. One, one, two, one, two. One, uh, two. Right? So I could go on and on and on and on and on and come up with different permutations. As you should. You should get very comfortable dividing the meter into different ways so that you get freer with how you actually play it um, also different songs like in this case we're going one two three one two one two it's actually divided into three two so it would be it's really important for me to get comfortable with that but other songs might be divided differently so work on different ways of dividing the same meters up and i think it uh, kind of open up things for you Okay, this is a big one. Practice straight, but also swung, right? So I'm gonna play this same groove or the same meter um, straight first as I've been doing, but then I'm gonna play it swung and, and I want you to hear the difference. And I use one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one. 
One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, right? Right? One, two, three, one, two. Okay, now what if I swing it? One, um. One, two, three, four. Right? So you can see how it completely changes the feel. Um, and also, it's really important to be able to do both because different songs require different, different feels, right? Um, maybe different sections require different feels. So get comfortable swinging in odd meters and also playing straight in odd meters. Okay, this is a really big one that I got hip to Oh, a long time ago but it kind of it really changed the game for me this is this track in case you're interested is a part of my digital download store it's on my digital download store um i have a whole pack that's dedicated to odd meters so check it out if you're interested it's a great way to just kind of work on playing odd meters and vamps over vamps um, but this specific track there's kind of the small five and the big five let me let me explain one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. But if you listen to the background percussion, it kind of emphasizes the five. One, the big five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So you have kind of both layers going on. And depending on what you're playing, um, if you're taking a solo, um, depending on the song, maybe you want to be playing more off of the either or. So I'll give you an example. I'll play off of the smaller five or the regular five. One, two, three, four, 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 five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Now the big five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, one. So you see how I'm kind of breaking it up, and what happens is when you start thinking um, larger groups like the Big Five or Big Seven, Big Nine, it opens up ideas for you, right? Your ideas don't have to be so contained and finite to fit into the smaller um, grouping. So therefore, it opens up ideas, and you can kind of play a little more organically rather than mechanically and metronomically. So. I'll play again using the big five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, four, five. One, two, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Right? So definitely work on small five and also large five, and it's going to open up a lot of ideas for you. Okay, another thing that you should work on, right, is it's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's the tendency, especially when we're playing odd meters, is to hit beat one because it's kind of like our, it anchors us in it. It's like a security um, a, a, a kind of a security beat that we feel like we have to hit in order to make sure we don't lose where we are, which I get. But after you get comfortable hitting one, get away from one a little bit, right? So uh, I'll start with really playing one strong and then I'll get away from it. Let's see what that sounds like. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, one. Okay, now I'm gonna get away from it. One, 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 three, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. You see what I did? I used the big five to open up things towards the end. Let me play a little bit more with that idea. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, whoops. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. Okay, could you hear it? You see how it, it really kind of opens up things when you don't always, I mean, one is really important, but you don't want to hit it because you have to hit it. You want to hit it because you want to hit it and because it musically feels and sounds good and is appropriate for the moment. Always look for the funk. Always look for the funk. Always look for the funk because that's gonna help anchor everything you do, okay? Even if you don't necessarily play a funk groove, have it in mind when you're playing. So I'll give you an example. Um, I'll play it with a backbeat. I'll try to put a backbeat, even though it's odd meters, I'll put a backbeat in it. And then I'll take it away. Or five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, right? You didn't know we could funk in the odd meters. I didn't either. Yes, I did. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now I'm gonna take it away. So actually, I'm not gonna take it away. I'm gonna displace it. I'm gonna play with the idea of there being a backbeat, quote unquote. But it's not really a backbeat because it's, it's ever moving, it's ever changing. But it feels funky because a backbeat is funky, right? And the way I'm playing the bass drum is funkified. Two, three, four, five. Right? So. Now, what if I get away from that? See, I'm just moving around. So I'm using funk elements and funk sounds and funk approaches. Now, what if I take that and really get away from this way of playing the funk or, or that kind of sound, the it's true funk sound, right? Hi-hat, snare, bass drum, and use the, the ride cymbal and put it in more of a jazz context or jazz sounding context. Four, five, one, two. So now I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna hit the backbeat as strong as that. I'm gonna get a little more, a little more subtle with my backbeat. See, I'm, I'm playing a little more with a little more uh, nuance, but I still want the funk. It's just not as blatant. See? Funk elements. Funk elements. Funk elements! Funk elements! Ah! Funk elements! They're all in there. They're all in there. Funk elements. Without playing funk. In odd meters. Check it out.
Of course, there is no replacement for actually playing with people. There is absolutely no re replacement. What I recommend doing is um, take a standard. Take all the things you are. Take Bye Bye Blackbird. Take um, all of me. Any standard. And say, hey, guys, let's put it in an odd meter, right? So you go, da, 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 da. Why can't you do that? You can absolutely do that. And maybe at first doing that will be difficult for you. But the, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Um, as far as practicing, there's no replacement for playing with recordings. Find good odd meter recordings to play along to. Check out drummers who do it really well um, and play along with them. I would also recommend checking out this play along and any other play alongs that you can find that are in odd meter because it's like playing with playing with a metronome but it's actual music right and so it kind of puts you in that make that music making mindset um, while also working on working things out and playing very metronomic right uh, there's no leeway there's there, there's no mercy with play alongs or, or metronomes so all right so that is it that's what you got to do and if you do these things, I swear your playing is going to go to the next level and you're going to get really comfortable playing odd meters. Don't just play five. Don't just play in three. Don't just play in seven. Don't just play in nine. Play in 11. Play in 13. Play in 15. Because after all, it's just about twos and threes. Twos and threes. That's it. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two.